Hello brothers, hello sisters again. I am back again to elaborate more on the table depicting deadly satanic strategic stratification of Jezebel's product. So I am back to discuss number one, which is indecent. So what is conceded indecent dressing? the author says it has to do with not just the author but even biblically right it has to do with dressing half naked showing or exposing sensitive parts of your body such as your breast your buttocks your hip your chest your shoulders your thigh and your waist and etc dressing in such a way that you draw attention to yourself wearing tight hugging clothes which show off your sh so I came up with a few pictures I used to be I used to also dress indecently I may not have dressed showing my cleavage you know dressed in short dresses but I would wear tight clothing you know that showed your hips your your curves and your figure you know clothes that clinged onto you that actually just somebody could literally draw the shape of you could draw the shape of your body so that is also indecent dressing but this is just an example of what fashion is of today you know um, I've gone to church concerts where the women were dressed up like you know they were coming to a fashion show they were coming for modeling like they were going into a club yet it was supposed to be a concert to worship God you know to lift the name of Jesus Christ but the way the women were dressed was just completely shaming especially now that the gospel of truth makes sense more than ever about how we adorn ourselves I look back and I also adorned myself indecently I may not have been exposing my body parts but I wore clothes that were you know they were hugging to my body you know and they accentuated my figure so it still makes no difference you know whether somebody is walking naked on the street and here I am wearing tight clothes it still makes no difference it's still indecent dressing in front of God it's a sin I made men lust after me you know the comments that women would be making some women would be describing the shape of your butt the shape of your this the shape of your that again because of the way you dressed so I repent I repent from this and I hope that um, the sisters especially even brothers in Christ you know but especially we women you know I hope you see the truth in this and you turn away from that the other one is how we admire celebrities you know the way they dress so like the picture in front of you you know the lady just looks half naked but that is what we're chasing today even Christian women you know, I used to enjoy watching reality TVs. Um, it's just even embarrassing to name some of them because I don't even want to give give uh, give ideas for women to go and look into them. Some of the reality TVs were like Real Housewives, you know, of whatever cities they came from, and there's nothing but vanity that they advertise, you know, and immorality. Even movies that we watch, Hollywood, Hollywood, there is no movie out there that I can actually look back and say that it had 100% purity. Other than the movies of Jesus Christ and the movies of Paul, of Tarsus, you know, showing the journey of Paul and Jesus Christ, the rest of the movies, they had some indecency that they taught, they taught me looking back but in my kernel mind i still enjoyed watching these things but now that god has opened my eyes wow now that god is just shaking that ignorance off you know 
it's 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 like scales falling off your eyes you know and you begin to see clearer and you just want to share the truth with everybody for everyone to know that god is not happy with this entertainment that we have at home so the other things i wanted to mention are the bathing suits you know um especially here in the west i you know pretty much dress dressing half naked is not a big deal at all you know sometimes even when people are getting baptized they get baptized with their spanks wearing their spanks on so that's far from modesty you know things like bathing suits i did not even want to upload the bathing suits that some of the women are wearing because they're so explicit they're so provocative and god does not want us to wear these things because if a man sees you wearing this bathing suit and here you are with your chest and your curves sticking out then temptations begin to crawl into their mind you know and falling into sin it does not have to be physical it's mental it's emotional so I'm just showing just the simple bathing suits everyday wear that some of the people use out there but they're even worse bathing suits, bathing suits than this. They're worse out there. Some of them are so provocative. You can see people's body parts through and people are wearing those for, uh, to, to the pool. So I don't want to applaud them. But if this is bad, if God considers this indecent, then you can imagine what about the two the two piece bathing suits? and the see-throughs bathing suits that ladies are wearing so going back to our discussion here so the author was talking about dressing in such a way that you draw attention to yourself and wearing tight hugging clothes to show off your shape seductive dressing and walking so when you think of it ladies the heels that we put on so ladies do you did you know that heels were actually meant um the whole idea of heels, I'm sorry, actually originated from goat feet. So when you look at the above picture of the goat, the goat feet looking kind of heels, I hope that just sends you the message where heels originated from. And when you look at the book of Isaiah, again, chapter 3 from verse 16 to 25, you know, God says how we women take little steps you know little prideful steps while we're walking and what makes us do the uh like what makes us actually accomplish the steps they are the heels right because with heels you cannot take long strides they have to be short strides and usually they accentuate the way you walk right they accentuate your body they cause a tension on you and just more examples of more heels for you ladies to see and google pictures offers so much more heels and wedges and a lot of women will say oh then this must be so boring you know it must be so boring being a christian being a righteous woman you know you have to wear flat shoes and when you think of it flat shoes will not actually alter the way you walk but heels and wedges they do give you a different step that's part of the reason why i burned my own heels like i got rid of my so um i'm just gonna play a little clip here of my heel collection that i got rid of you know everything was shredded to pieces everything had to go to pieces and i burned some of it and the rest the leftovers i shredded them to pieces in a way that nobody would have taken them and used them or taken them to the the shoemaker and get them repaired there was no recovery there was no way of recovering but as you can see i may not have had like the the biggest of collection but i had quite a decent collection of heels and they were like somewhat pricey not high-end pricey but let me say middle like like a middle class kind of cost <laughs> but they were decent 
comfortable shoes so but again the wedges the high heels all those had to go the boots because most of the boots that I have are actually wedged boots so they all had to go so just pay attention to the clip here and see what I'm and just again more display of my heel collection of what I got rid of so as I stand here and make these videos you know and encourage you ladies especially to take the step it's not because I haven't taken the step I've taken the step and as I keep reading and researching I'm still finding out that I need to get rid of so many more things which I will be getting rid of and I'll be making more videos proper videos I'm also learning how to edit videos so please forgive me my editing is horrible but please forgive me so this is a video in one of the channels and the video just shows you what I had like the heels that I had that I got rid of you know winter sh winter shoes but again they were somewhat you know making you catwalk giving you that provocative seductive walk that God does not want us to have so that's part of the reason why I got I got rid of them and some of this like actually all my heel collection was quality but it's part of Jezebel's property so now that I know the truth time to get rid of them no mercy anyway so enough of that and let's continue again to what we were talking about so sport and swimming at his below should be kept in mind in that respect right any sport out here that shows or exposes sensitive parts of your body and thus people causing and thus causing people sorry to last after you Matthew 5 28 falls under indecent dressing anyone who wears such a sport out here is a spiritual prostitute and a satanic agent since he or she causes people to commit sexual immorality in their hearts by lasting sorry by lusting after him or her because of his or her indecent sports attire so if you know according to what the writer the author of the book is saying that pretty much is what God delivered me from. I was a spiritual prostitute when I when I wore makeup, fake hair, again, tight clothes and going to church. That is still spiritual prostitute, you know? You're making people lost after you. So I was guilty of that. And then he continues to say in a nutshell, such a sport attire is an abomination to the Lord. In this respect, under no circumstance should you wear such a sport attire in the public, such at any fitness center, such as at any fitness center, fitness room at your place of work, public sport place. The above three places are examples of abominable places where people publicly expose their nakedness in the name of wearing sports attire at their peril at home. You can do physical exercise in order to stay or become healthy and fit, but not at a public place such as any of the above three abominable places. Keep in mind that such sports, sport attire are designed by Satan as a, as a strategy that anyone that has anything to do with them shall be cast into the everlasting fire. You know, that's, that's really sad. And... Oof, I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. Just fear, fear just sweeping all over me. You know, that. And look at how we admire and cheer for the Olympic teams when the big Super Bowl is going on. Look at how much excitement and rave there is. But for the word of God, we don't have that much excitement, you know? So anyway, so Matthew chapter 5, verse 28, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, 
in respect, in this respect, have absolutely nothing to do with, number one, any indecent sport at here, and number two, any of the three abominable places. The Holy Bible is crystal clear that all the abominable shall be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. Remember, the admolishing, strategic, applicable scripture we have seen in chapter 4 above and apply them here for your own good. Wow. Swimming attires that people wear when they are at the beach. Number two, various public swimming pools fall under indecent dressing. This is because such swimming otters expose sensitive parts of their body to the public, thus, thus are satanic and an abomination to the Lord. Anyone who wears any swimming attire at any beach or public swimming pool is a spiritual prostitute and a satanic agent because it causes people to last after him or her. Matthew chapter 5 verse 28. As a born-again believer, you must never expose your nakedness in the public in the name of wearing swim in the name of wearing any swimming attire or sports attire at the beach, public swimming pool, fitness centers, just to mention a few. As a matter of fact, any beach, public swimming pool, or fitness center is a very dangerous and satanic place since people go there to expose their nakedness in one way or, no or another in the name of swimming and fitness at their peril. In such public places, people wear all kinds of abominable and indecent attires in the name of swimming, sports, and fitness at their peril. Under no circumstances should any child of God, uh, of God expose any part of her body in the public, because his or her body is holy unto the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 16-17 Always keep in mind, it is all about eternity, and thus it's all about strategy. Indeed, swimming attire and indecent sports attires are designed by Satan as a deadly strategy to deceive countless souls to wear them and to perish together with those who lust after them. That is scary. That is indeed scary. Therefore, do not give the devil, your adversary, an opportunity, according to Ephesians 4, 27, to destroy you and other people who lost after you because of your swimming attire, beach attire, fitness attire, and sports attire above. God's word is plain and any born-again believer who exposes any part of a body in any public, in any in any way in the public in the name of swimming beach or sport uh, attire is defiled because he or she becomes an agent of Satan and a spiritual harlot by doing so the Proverbs chapter 7 verse 10 the Holy Bible is abundantly clear that any born-again believer who defiles his or her body in any way brings God's condemnation and destruction upon him or herself. 1 Corinthians 3, 17 and Revelation 21, verse 27 makes it clear that anyone that defiles in any way, sh any, anyone, anyone that is defiled, I'm sorry, in any way shall not make it into heaven as we have just seen above indecent swimming and sports attire are an abomination to the Lord and Revelation 21 verse 8 is abundantly clear that anyone who commits any abomination shall be cast into the lake of everlasting fire lake of fire and brimstone that is why, that is how serious and awful it is. It cannot be clearer in this respect, repent 
and no longer go to the beach to swim. Do not also swim in any public pool, such as such as any swimming pools in any hotels. If you swim when if you must swim, then construct a swimming pool at home and swim at home in order to avoid being captured and being destroyed together with the people who lust after you by Satan through his deadly strategies of indecent swimming attire, beach attire, and fitness attire. We are now going to conclude with Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10, and also verse 25. Uh, chapter 7 verse 25 to 27 below and behold there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot of a harlot and, and a sub subtile of heart let not thine heart decline to her ways go not astray in her path for she hath cast down many wounded yeah many strong men have been slain by her her house is the way to hell going down to the chambers of death the above scripture clearly teaches us that all people who dress indecently regardless of the reason are murderers the church of our lord and savior jesus christ worldwide is full of such people they are satanic agents in the church and are all on their way to the everlasting fire unless they repent and forsake such abominable dressing now before it's too late for them dressing indecently in any way is aching to being clothed with stranger peril anyone who dresses indecently in any way or who who is clothed with strange apparel in any way will not go unpunished i will punish the princesses and kings children and all such are clothed with strange apparel zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8 it can't be clearer natural appearance your natural appearance is what god demands since he created you flawless so God created us flawless. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. So Genesis chapter 1 verse 31. And you were fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 30, 139 verse 14. Inappropriate or indecent dressing is worldly dressing. It is the dressing of the unbelieving world. Possessed of the spirit of Jezebel. All the people. In the church of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ worldwide who dress indecently in any way are possessed with the devil uh, sorry are possessed with the evil spirit of Jezebel and need deliverance deliverance your dressing must be appropriate or decent at all times otherwise you would not make it to heaven if you have been dressing indecently in any way it implies that you are a satanic agent in church whether willingly or unwillingly so then that that just says i used to be one you know I, I worked for the devil indirectly and have been helping or assisting the devil by sending countless souls to the, to the everlasting fire who have been lasting after you because of your indecent dressing therefore you must be horrified and terrified at what you've been doing stop reading now fall down on your knees genuinely repent and forsake such abominable dressing cry to the lord jesus christ for total and complete deliverance and cleansing now first john chapter 1 verse 7 before it's too late for you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ <sighs> amen amen Father, I thank you for for the enlightenment and I pray that anybody who watches this video, God, open their eyes, open their spiritual eyes, open their spiritual ears, open my spiritual eyes, my spiritual ears, open my spiritual mouth to speak what is what, what is pleasant to you, God, and what is righteous and pure 
and open my spiritual ears and my eyes to see and to hear what is pure and what pleases you so that we may be able to wake one another up and sharpen other people for your kingdom O oh God as you as you sharpen us too our father we glorify and we magnify your name O oh God Holy Spirit send your Holy Spirit descend upon us O oh Lord and give us the boldness to share the message of your kingdom all over with as many people as possible as the end draws nigh we thank you, Abba Father, for your grace. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for you are great. And you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. The next topic is usage of the opposite sex attire, which is following. So I'll upload a video for that. Thank you. Bye.